my I'm not even nothing, but my face is parted in everywhere, and I wish I had a better outfit in that mosque because I'm on every news from Pakistan to Africa. Andrew Tate, Muslim praying with Tim Khan. My name's Tim now. Like people are getting, I'm like, say the name right. Tom Khan, tag me on Instagram, you know. Yeah, but yeah. like, what made you to like? F you've got everything, and like to to a lot of people saying, why would you want to be in a religion where there's certain boundaries? Why? Because you are living this life. A lot of Westerners will say, yeah. why would you be in Islam? Why? Like, what made you? Humans need boundaries. That's the first thing I'll start by saying. I'll, I'll say that I used to be an atheist. Uh, I like to believe that I found scientific proof for God. I think that there's an equal and opposite force. That was one of Newton's laws. And when you understand the evil that exists in the world today, there must be an opposite force to the evil, which has to be God. Uh, to sit around, to sit and say that the things that are happening in the world today aren't truly evil is ignorant. And once you understand they're truly evil and that people are doing them on purpose, not on accident, you understand that shaitan yeah. exists, the demons exist, which means God must exist. So then you have to find the religion which I believe you feel the most affinity to. Truthfully, I think Islam is almost the only religion on the planet. I, I look at other religions now and they don't have any red lines. They don't have any non-tolerance. If you're going to sit there and be tolerant of absolutely everything, then you stand for nothing. Yeah. So how can you be a religion? But the, the whole point of religion, exactly what you said, there are certain things you cannot do. If you're going to have a religion and say, well, you can do whatever you want, then you don't have a belief yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost like people say, why did you choose these, uh, the Muslim religion? I sit and say, name another one. Name another religion where, where you actually are sticking to guidance and adherence to certain rules to show respect to God. Name one. And you can't, which means it must be the only one, which means it's the, it's the right one. So to me, it's pretty simple. Like, uh, I don't think it has any... I don't think there's any competition or alternative to it. And I've always felt an affinity for it. I've always been talking on podcasts about how much I respect it. Mm. Like, and, and if you're going to be religious, you're going you're gonna to choose the path you respect. I don't think there's any other choice. I see people say they're Christian all days long, and I say, what does that mean? Because I can, I can name drag queens who are Christian. I can name, <laughs> like, what, no, but what, is, what does it mean? No, but I understand your but point what does it really, mean? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. And there has to be a degree. I mean, I'm attacked all the time, and I used, I get it. But there has to be a degree of intolerance inside of a rule set. That's what the rule set means. If a football game, offside rule is intolerance. There has to be intolerance inside of any set of rules. If you're going to come along and say we have absolutely zero intolerance and we're tolerant of everything, then you have no rules. And then society degrades. So everything we were talking earlier about man, women, family, how all of the problems, all of the degenerate behaviors I'm advertising so men can protect their mental state instead of falling in love and ending up suicidal by some woman who leaves them and cheats on them, all of that can be prevented with a rule set. Mm. But it's only Islam that can do that. Yeah. You can't go to a church and go, I've met a Christian girl, don't worry, it's in the bag. <laughs> Good luck, friend. <laughs> we know what's gonna happen. We know what's gonna happen. So I don't think there's any I don't think there's any competition. It has to be the truth. It has to be the truth. Mashallah. Yeah, mashallah. Honestly, and, and I'm not do you get good Christians, like we know. You get of course, good, you get good people of all Christians kinds, of course. All kinds, even Jews. Like in you get these traditional Christians, which I respect, who are also can't practice their own religion because Christianity is, is it, like you said, it's evolving to the point where it's fit in society, where Islam will never do that. We spoke once and I said, you could give me a billion, $10 billion to say, denounce Islam, I wouldn't do it. And I mean it, you could put the cash straight in front of me. You could never make me do that. You could do that with anyone else. Religion should shape society. Society shouldn't shape religion. And, and that's what's happened. Yeah, like, James, I'm not sure how many times you've been here. You we could literally go to the beach and I'll sit somewhere, all our phones, these watches, you know, leave yeah. the car engine running and just leave. Come back in three hours, it's there. Only thing that maybe the battery dies. Literally, yeah. no one will touch it because it stems from Islamic law. And I think, like, uh, when we're talking, I think, uh, and I know I, a lot of stick and as well support it went viral saying he's doing it for clout, he's not. And I can truly say, I know him for a long time and I know, we speak of different things. It was purely his decision, purely to go in that mosque that day. It was just spiritual. It was UFC, we had about 50 people waiting for us in the restaurant. We just went to pray and it was just, it was just this kind of relaxation. I saw in his eyes, he felt good. Yeah. And it was good to see because he has a lot, he can't even be out, once he leaves this door, he has to put his face on. He doesn't have to, but ah, picture, you stop with one, 100 stop. Any mistake, he could do this from a long angle, looks like he's punching a woman. Mm. He, he's in that kind of like uh, world now. And I think he's got a lot of responsibility also because now the Muslim world is very, as well, judgmental, unfortunately. Yeah. It's beautiful religion, but the people don't judge by the... But that's, that's, that's what he likes about it, because there is boundaries. Well, there is boundaries, but also I, I think that the, the bottom line of it all is, James said earlier, hedonism and pleasure, etc., is a black hole. And if you don't have any self-enforced boundaries or boundaries from a higher power, you will never fill that black hole. 